Hello and welcome to the Missed Me Commentary. My name is Carlin Trammell and I'm one of the co-directors of this short. And uh, this started off as a 50-minute uh, action film that we were going to shoot, having just come off of a 25-minute um, short, uh, Tastes Like Chicken, which is available for viewing or for purchase on stormspeedentertainment.com. Uh, we wanted to follow that up with something even bigger and better and um, what we wanted to do was a 50 minute action film and we wanted to get into uh, some sort of gunfight and and do a lot more with um, fight scenes and uh, just really amped up action and uh, one, one of the things we were looking at doing was using some, um, some maybe some BB guns and uh, doing it um, doing some of the gun flares in um, After Effects and post-production um, rather than spending the money on guns with blanks and all that. So I um, wanted to see if that was going to work or not. And um, talking to a guy by the name of Dave Atterbury who had worked with me on Taste Like Chicken and uh, he suggested this um, this idea. Just I mean, I think he was just throwing it out there. What if you had a couple of guys and they were in the woods and they were just, they were just shooting at each other with their hands? And uh, I said, stop, say no more, because the rest of it just clicked with me. And I, and I immediately knew how it ended and, and what we were doing. And, and, uh, and now, as a result of that, came uh, Missed Me. And it was one of these, it's one of these few projects that uh, came out just about the, the way I had envisioned it. A um, couple things to mention. Uh, when, when I wrote the story, um, of course, the ending is we see that these two guys are actually a couple of kids and they're in the backyard and they're playing. And so I wanted to do this as a uh, pseudo commentary, uh, more of an observation about the way that kids uh, play based on what they see on television. And so I used this amped up action, this, uh, you know, they're shooting each other and the, the bullets are missing each other. The, the uh, theme music is very much uh, inspired by the A-Team. It's, it's this hyper-realistic kind of a approach to it. Um, even the costuming has that um, that effect. You see uh, one guy in camo and the light shirt sort of representing, you know, a G.I. Joe, maybe. And then this guy here in the black and uh, navy uh, representing a Cobra approach. And um, so I wanted to exude that cartoon hyper-realism. And also an escalation of violence is, is present here. We see a uh, handgun, two handguns, uh, shotgun, rifle, Uzi, machine gun, and finally we get to a grenade launcher. And we just we see it get worse and worse and worse. And we see it a lot in things like Mighty Morphin Power Rangers where um, the, the violence will continue to escalate on the show. Uh, also used a, a split screen editing style. Uh, we, we shot this with a Canon XL1 and a Canon GL1 uh, for those who are interested and um, had a lot of angles on the same scenes and I just wanted to try and use it all. It was just, it was just sort of, um, I don't know, some, in some ways it was lazy editing because I had so many great um, shots that I didn't want to give up and so I went with this, this multi-angle uh, approach. <clears throat> um, while we're in the forest we see a really high contrast, desaturated look and then we, we changed immediately to a bright, vibrant uh, background. We stop using the multiple angles, and um, we see the kids um, in their realistic uh, world. Um, the reference to Flex Hammer there is a, a comic book character that I've written, and um, and that uh, brings us to the end. So Josh Hahn uh, directed it with me, and he was a great um, great partner to work with. And uh, I want to thank everybody, uh, cast and crew, who worked on it, and thank you for watching it.